In every corner of the world, unseen and unnoticed, there exists a complex system that connects us all. The internet, a web of invisible threads weaving together billions of people, devices, and networks, allowing us to communicate, share, and create. But it wasn't always like this. The story of how we went from isolated computers to a global network is one of innovation, collaboration, and a relentless pursuit of connection. The journey begins in the 1960s with the birth of ARPANET, a military-funded project designed to connect computers in different locations. Originally a way for researchers to share data, it marked the beginning of what would become the digital world as we know it. ARPANET was the first real attempt at creating a network of computers. What made it revolutionary was that it was decentralized, which was a huge leap from traditional systems that relied on a central server. These early machines were massive, and connecting them over long distances was a challenge. But the vision of a connected world was growing. Back then, nobody could have predicted just how far we would go. We were just focused on getting computers to talk to each other. In the 1990s, the internet began its rapid evolution. The invention of the World Wide Web by Tim Berners-Lee in 1989 turned the internet into an accessible tool for everyone. Suddenly, it was no longer just a niche network for academics and government institutions. It was a new frontier for commerce, entertainment, and education. The web gave the internet its soul. Before that, it was just a collection of computers talking to each other. But when Tim created the web, it gave us a way to experience the internet as we do today. First, the internet was slow. Dial-up modems, with their distinctive screeching sounds, connected homes to the vast, untapped digital world. But as the 1990s progressed, things started to change. Broadband, Wi-Fi, and fiber optics brought faster speeds, and the world began to shrink. As demand for faster, more reliable connections grew, the technologies that made the internet possible had to evolve. Networking technologies, once focused on simple connections between computers, had to expand to meet the growing needs of a digital world. In the early days, we had simple connections between computers. But soon, companies realized they needed more robust systems. That's where technologies like routers, switches, and firewalls came in, the building blocks of modern networking. At the heart of these technologies is the idea of data transfer. A computer sends data packets through networks, and these packets need to find the best route to their destination. Routers direct these packets across different networks, while switches ensure that devices within the same network communicate efficiently. These systems of interconnected devices, known as data centers, are the backbone of the internet. Millions of them span the globe, each one handling trillions of pieces of data every second. Today, networking isn't just about connecting computers. It's about connecting everything, from smartphones to smart homes, from healthcare systems to factories. The internet has expanded far beyond our wildest dreams. The rise of the Internet of Things, IoT, means that every device, from your fridge to your car, is now part of the network. It's a shift from just connecting people to connecting everything. We live in a world where devices don't just talk to us, they talk to each other. Networks are no longer confined to the physical world of wires and routers. Wireless networks, powered by Wi-Fi, 5G, and satellite systems, have created an invisible web that connects us to the cloud, to each other.